hello hello welcome back to the channel and went book shopping this weekend for my birthday and I I I got some stuff so I didn't want anything specifically you know big or anything for my birthday I just wanted to go book shopping with my husband and so that's what we did he bought me some stuff I bought myself some stuff and uh I'm going to insert a little like vloggy moment b-roll clip here uh, a few of them really of us shopping you will see him and having a good time and then at the end of that I will actually go through the books that I got and my thoughts I'm excited about a lot of these so I will show you what I got for my birthday <laughs> I bought myself. So I did order a copy of Blood Grace by Vila Roth and I have heard nothing but amazing things about this. 
that I know a lot of people have read this and talked about it. It is a fantasy romance about a race of vampires and humans. And this is the bastard daughter of the human race. I think the prince of the vampire race. And they end up kind of falling in love as she searches, I think, for a mystery surrounding her mother. Um, I know that this entire series is a chonker. I have heard about this from a lot of people's channels. Recently, Heather over at Hea Booktubes read it. And I know she really enjoyed it. She read four books back to back. So... I am I am very much looking forward to this. I I knew it was a chunker. I just didn't expect it's like the size of my head, y'all. It's the size of my head and it's how many pages? Let's look. Let's look together, shall we? It's over six hundred pages. <laughs> it's like so there's an appendices at the end, which is dope. But it's also it's six hundred and thirty one pages and it's still the size of my head and the text is 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 fairly it's fairly small. So this will be fun to get to. <laughs> then I got, there was a buy one get one half off at Barnes and Noble. I went looking for Paris Davenport, uh, the second, Rose, the second, whoa, what's the series called? Second book to the Rosaline Palmer Takes the Cake book. Uh, Paris Davenport is about to crumble. And they had it, but it wasn't on the buy one get one half off. So instead I got these. Uh, I got We Could Be So Good by Kat Sebastian, which slipped by me. I didn't realize this was coming out this year until Robin mentioned it over on her channel and I love Cat Sebastian. Uh, once upon a time I had kept managed to keep up with her backlist and now I'm quite a few books behind. I need to fix that. Uh, this is definitely one that I will read very soon because I do love her work so much. And I also got The Fiancé Farce by Alexandria Bellaflor. This is another romance. This one I didn't say I think is a uh, historical type of romance. I think it takes place in the 19, yes, 19, late 1950s between two men and it's very of its time from what I've heard. So they're dealing with a lot of, you know, the rampant homophobia and stuff at that time, but usually her books are a little lighter. They do have some heavier stuff in them, but they're usually a little lighter. And this is a, I believe a bookseller and a cover model end up fake dating. Yeah, no, modern day marriage of convenience. They end up in a marriage of convenience, which sounds very fun. And this cover is absolutely beautiful. So I'm stoked for that. I really enjoyed her other books. Uh, the Written in the Stars especially was very good. And then I finally, finally picked up a copy of The Mask of Mirrors by M.A. Carrick. This one I am very <laughs> excited for. I have heard many good things. All I remember is a con artist who was trying to make her way into this big political family. I think it's to take care of her sister. And it is dense and very political. There is lots of behind the back sort of workings, that sort of stuff. And again, this is what Heather at Hea Booktubes read recently and loved. And it's been on my TBR for a very long time. I just hadn't ever pulled the trigger. And after hearing her talk about it, I went and I was looking at used copies. And this one was super cheap. I think I got it. I had some Pango bucks. So I think I ended up paying like $2 for this. And this is almost new. It's not even, not even a remainder. So that was a score for me. <laughs> and then the stuff that my husband got me. Like I said, a lot of these are bargain books. So I didn't get a whole lot of big name things. Just stuff I'm really interested in. I got the Small Spaces series. I have read the first one. These are by Katherine Arden. These are middle grade horror. These were by to get one free. So I got the first three books. The fourth book is not out in paperback yet. I think there is a clip of me showing the fourth book to my husband in the B-roll. He hates clowns. He hates clowns and uh, was shown in the cover. He was not on board. He wants, I think, to read at least this one with me again or reread it with me. He's not sold on the clown one yet. I'll get in there. Uh, but this one I think is a trapped in a snowstorm story and this one is going to scare me because I have a fear of dark water. I don't want to know what this one's about. I'll just read it and find out because again, fear of dark water. Not a clown. So I'm very excited about the fourth one which is Empty Smiles which <laughs> looks terrifying. I'll see if I can put a picture up here. I'm stoked for these. I'll probably read these or at least one of these during Summerween which is next week or this week, depending on when this goes up. He always picks out a book for me for my birthday. If we do book shopping, we've done it a couple times in the past. And this time he picked out Tombland, which is a Shard Lake novel by CJ Sansom. Don't know much about this. It's a historical mystery about, uh, I think it's something to do with some like graveyards or something. Um, I don't know. I like detective stories a lot, 
but I don't read a lot of them because a lot of the detective stories uh, that are coming out more recently are seemingly thrillers. I'm not very on the nose, like aware of what's going on with detective stories. This sounds kind of up my street though. I love Sherlock Holmesian kind of detectives. And I've heard that this is a very good historical series to do with that, but that's all I know about it. I don't know anything about this one specific, but he liked the sound of it and said, I should try it and I do believe I can read these out of order so I will give it a shot. Another bargain section find was Dragon Riders of Pern. This is Dragon's Code by Gigi Mac McCaffrey. I grew up reading the Dragon Riders of Pern and <laughs> I know it doesn't hold up well now but I read those books almost religiously. I read the first three books at least four or five times and then the Dragon Singer trilogy I have read an innumerable amount of times. So I love the Dragon Riders of Pern, mostly for nostalgia, but this is a very recent release. And this is her daughter. She um, she has passed away and her husband, or not her husband, but her son was writing the books. And I believe this is her daughter. And this is a more recent one. This is 2018. So it's not as recent as I thought. But this is a more recent release. I think this is the first one that Gigi wrote. I thought I would try it. I would like to revisit Pern. Um, don't know much about this one. Nothing, really. <laughs> As long as it's got dragons and dragon riders in it, I'm game to try it. That is my number one buzzword is dragons. So let's see. Oh, I also almost forgot. This one is one that I bought myself. I bought myself a copy of Kushal's Dart, which is going to be a reread for me. The Cassil's uh, book. I can't remember the name of it. There's a new book coming out, which is basically this book, but from another perspective. It's coming out this month or it has come out. And I want to finally reread and finish this series. And these new covers are very pretty. It's basically the artwork from the old cover just reformatted with new like filigree and stuff. So I will pick this up fairly soon. It's like I said, it'll probably be the th third time I've read this. Yes, it'll be the third time I've read this. Uh, never actually finished the series though, sadly. So hopefully I will finish it. We'll go ahead and talk about two other old-time favorite authors. So Mercedes Lackey. I'm pretty sure I have mentioned her before on the channel. I got book one and two of The Family Spies. These were six dollars so I wanted to dive in. So this is The Hills Have Spies and I Spy. These punny titles. This is great but this is about a family of Harold Spies and their escapades. This follows I believe the father and the son and this follows the mother and daughter as they go on separate missions. And the third book, which is called Spy and Spy Again, or Spy, Spy Again, I believe has the family come together. Uh, Lackey's books are almost always in trilogies. So if I enjoy these, which I'm sure I will, her books are very quick and fun reads, I will pick up the third one and finish this out. I am trying to get back to the Baldemar world. I haven't read it since I was a teen and they're writing more in that world she is. So I want to return. I think, yes, I was going to say, some of them, she sometimes writes with her husband, but those are just Mercedes books. I got One Don May. I got Remnants of Filth. This is the first volume by Rubao Bushiru. Probably butchered that, and I am sorry. This, I know I have been warned, <laughs> is kind of intense, much like Husky and his white cat was. This one's supposed to be a little bit more intense, and I believe this takes place in the same world as Husky and his white cat, so I'm extremely excited. I believe this has some of the same characters. We have repeating characters in this from Husky, so this will be, I will read this quickly and put it on the shelf up there with Husky, which is right there with a the white book. Excited for that. I picked up a physical copy of Boyfriend Material. I don't know if I've read this. <laughs> I say that because there is also the, what, what's their name? Um, Casey McQuiston has Red, White, and Royal Blue. And I don't remember if I've read this one or Red, White, and Royal Blue. So I'm going to read this again. It can't be bad. It's Alexis Hall. He's almost never been wrong for me. So I'm going to read this and then Husband Material and I have the third book which is kind of a spinoff uh, on ARC and I will read that afterwards. These are His books are always very very quick reads so I picked up a physical copy to read for that reason. And the final book I got is my first Olive Blake, One for My Enemy. I got the regular edition. I saw the Barnes & Noble edition but the only reason that I was interested in that one 
besides the fact that it's black and that's my favorite color, is that I thought it had the artwork exclusive to it, but it does not. So the artwork is in this edition. Well, I got this one at Target. Uh, this one edition as well. So there was that family and that family. So one of my buzzwords for books is Baba Yaga. If you tell me a book has something to do with Baba Yaga, I am going to be interested. And this has something to do, I think it's two warring witches, warlocks families, two rival witch families fight to main control, maintain control of their respective criminal empires. And one of the families is descendant from Baba Yaga, the other from Koshe, the Deathless. I'm sure I said that name wrong. And that sounds very good. I've never tried Olive Blake. I've heard many, many great things, but I've also heard her writing is not for everyone. So we'll see if I fall on the scale of for me. That is it. That was my birthday haul. I am actually, so I don't do book hauls on the channel very often. I have a weird thing about book hauls. I like watching book hauls, but I don't know that I like filming book hauls. I have weird feelings about them. But this one I thought would be fun with some like vlog footage and clips, that sort of thing. After this pile of acquisitions, <laughs> I am putting myself on a bit of a book buying ban. I also believe there will be a rule in my future that says I can't buy but one book I haven't read before. So we'll see. I may be utilizing my KU more often, but there will probably not be another book haul for a while, <laughs> is what I'm saying. <laughs> That is it. Let me know which of these should I prioritize. And please don't say Blood Mercy because I really want to read it, but I'm really intimidated by it. It's so big and chunky. It's so big. Let me know what I should read. Is it, should I get through the fantasy first? Should I get through the romance? Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will talk to you guys soon in another video. Thanks for watching. Bye. And I'm ringing it for you